Here's the most unusual Century motor I have. Far and away most unusual. It's a uh, four pole. You get a load of those end bells. And even the even the frame is different. It's sort of like an M frame but without the bolt-on feet. It's cast in and and the pecker head is on top here. The nameplate's pretty good except someone painted it. Uh, it just says uh, Century single phase motor. It doesn't say anything about repulsion. It obviously is some variety of repulsion motor but I actually can't tell if it's repulsion start induction i.e. and brush riding obviously those brushes don't lift I don't know if there's a short circuiting mechanism in the back of that commutator or not or if it's just repulsion induction meaning it has a squirrel cage winding uh, deep in the rotor uh, for to make you know to make it a constant speed motor uh, I will say that when I first got it running the commutator was pretty rough and the brushes were kind of sparky at startup but once it reached speed there was no brush sparking which tends to make me think it's uh, got some kind of short circuiting mechanism because a, a repulsion induction motor will always have some current flow in the uh, repulsion winding and you know in the brushes so uh, I don't know the back of that commutator does look pretty weird let's uh, come around and see if I can get a shot of the front of it or the drive end here it's got that same weird end bell it's got the oil reservoirs with the rings you have to remove those two scraps, uh, screws or bolts to remove the cover. I filled them up with fresh oil. When I first got this I couldn't turn the shaft and just today I thought I'd give it a whirl and I broke it free by hand on the shaft and have since put some oil in the bearings and it runs very well now. Uh, it's a one-third horsepower, four pole. I think it's 50 cycle. I think I was able to read that on there. 14 something RPM. Uh, 104 or 208 volts. I haven't been able to read the amps yet. And it's got the 1899 and 1903 patent dates.